VDOT is gearing up for the possibility of winter weather. We've seen some flurries across the region today. This is new video from about 10 minutes ago in downtown Roanoke. As you can see, some uh, heavy, wet snowflakes right there. And right now, all eyes are focusing on the weekend and the winter weather that may leave a more lasting impression. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti joins us. She is live in Roanoke tonight with a look at just how crews are getting ready. Patricia? Well, John Vida has been watching the forecast very closely as part of their preparations for the anticipated snowstorm. Crews spent the day putting blades onto their snow plows. VDOT spokesperson Jason Bond is encouraging people to monitor the forecast this weekend. One of the challenges with this event is whether we're going to be able to pre-treat or not. Now that decision really comes down to uh, if it's going to start out as rain and transition to snow. Bond says the roads could be pre-treated up to 48 hours before the storm. But unfortunately, there's rain in the forecast for those couple of days leading up to this possible snowstorm. So we're, we're really watching the forecast very closely. We're going to have a very small window of when we're able to pre-treat. He says one particular concern is that college students will be returning from spring break, so heavier traffic is expected. Monday will be the first day of school back for a lot of people who have been on spring break. So people who are out traveling really should watch this forecast and adjust their travel accordingly to try to minimize uh, being on the road during this storm. If you're driving over the weekend, he says, be cautious near snow plows out on the road. Absolutely need to take precautions ahead of the storm. Watch the forecast, uh, make a plan. Well, Bond encourages everyone to avoid the road during the snowstorm, if at all possible. Reporting live in Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.